got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs, just... Watch him grow. Been a while. You ain't been seeing another butcher, have you? <laughs> All right, but no point shopping. Anymore. You're simply not a gentleman. My friend! You there! Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell! Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Ready? Up. Aim. Fire. Ah! A Christmas! Oh. Please, put us out of our misery. Ready? Aim. Sir? Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. Bonus! <gasps> It was fun. Ooh, what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. One leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Shoot, sir, while our brains holds. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot.
I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I... Why? I must be the bravest man. Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the Lizard man, please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? No, nope, my sweet. Riding through town last week, dragging some helpless farmer by goddamn rope. Okay, fella. How do you do? Get up there. Is not old crazy man Cassidy. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Okay, sure.
Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out Come on there now, boy. Who you are. Yeah. Are you stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Yeah. Eat this, boy. Yeah. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895.
Ledger, watch, pistol. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. <laughs> That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Pa, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. This place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh. 
Oh, God damn it. damn it. Come on, man. Where are you going? Come on. It's ours. Ah. Uh. Uh. You get him? Uh. Uh. How big, uh. you bastard? Just the ledger now. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh... Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20.
What? There we go. on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do they are pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh.
Welcome to our humble police house. Lord, nights get cold as frozen hell in this place. Can I help you with something? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Howdy. Keep to what yourself. What can I do for you? Hey there, mister. Keep to your damn self. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for fifty. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. <laughs> sir. Good morning, mister. Gone. Show that permit to whoever's got to see it. I said, ah, what? You got the permit. Hey, I out? think someone far away is calling you. Go see him. That's it. Keep going. Hey, boy. You okay, bud? No. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. 
Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stooly. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do close to the battleship and shoot with torpedo. I say look out for mines. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only holes in the air. This is remarkable. Look at those poor boys on the HL hunt. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. What a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the sun. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. One more bang and both go bye-bye, please! I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting duck. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Just glad the breeze ain't up. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. Just race in the rules of seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? It was difficult. But it was not difficult for me. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive my...